Hi and welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for clicking into this video. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to solve if you're unable to initialize Steam API. So make sure that you stay until the very end of this video so you don't miss an important step or information. And without further ado, let's get on it. So the error unable to initialize Steam API can occur after you launch any game in the Steam library, which prevents the user from starting the game and cause the inconvenience. So the first fix that we are going to do is to allow the games executable in the firewall. So firewall may block the games executable from connecting to the internet properly and give rise to the unable to initialize Steam API error. So you can follow the steps right here to make an exemption for the games executable. So first, just type control in the Windows 10 Cortana or search box and click the best match control panel to open it. And after that, just set view by large icons in the upper right corner right, right here and then just locate the Windows Defender firewall and simply click on it. And then after that, click on to the allow an app or feature through Windows firewall option from the left pane right here and after that just find the problematic games entry from the list and then check the boxes for private and public networks and at last just simply click ok and restart your computer after that you can check if the error unable to initialize steam api gets fixed and then next, what you can do is to opt out of all beta programs in your Steam. So if you're using the Steam beta client, the Steam API not initialized error could appear. So as you know, Steam beta users receive the news updates ahead of time, but some features or some features have bugs which could lead to error like unable to initialize Steam API. So you should follow the steps right here to opt out of Steam beta completely. So first, just launch your Steam. And click the Steam option at the top and then just choose Settings. And locate to the Account tab, right here, Account tab. And then click the Change under the Beta Participation section. And choose the None, Opt Out of All Beta Programs option from the drop-down menu and click OK. And then just click Steam option at the top of the main interf interface and then click Exit exit steam completely and then right click on the windows taskbar to open task manager then choose to kill all steam related processes in task manager so right click the steam related processes just like this one so such as or the such as the steam exe file and then game overlay ui exe or the steam client bootstrapper and then choose end task from the right click menu and click yes to confirm the operation and we open the steam client and launch the game from the steam library to steam library tab again and then you can check if the error unable to initialize steam api disappears and so that's it for this video and i hope this helped you and if it did please make sure to like subscribe and hit notification bell button so you won't miss a video thank you so much for watching and have a great day bye bye